So I thought we were probably done talking about The Last of Us Part Two in the Game Awards yesterday. I thought that would probably be it. They gave it a bunch of awards. We'll talk about it again after it wins like 70 more. But this is pretty crazy. They're actually going after Neil Druckmann. I didn't see this coming. Let's talk about it. But first, a word from the sponsor for this video. Let's talk about Ridge Wallet. The only company I've ever worked with. This is my personal wallet right here. I've been using it for over a year and a half now, and I absolutely love it. It's so nice to no longer sitting on a big fat wallet. I just put this right in my front pocket. And it's great. I don't even know what's there half the time, and that's perfect because, listen, I got tired of sitting on a big fat wallet, and I like less things in my pockets. I think it's really nice. Don't take my word for this, though. Go to the website. Link in the description. Check out their stuff. Look at the reviews. 40,000 positive reviews. How can they be wrong? Check them out. Also, listen, this could be the last wallet you ever need. It has a lifetime warranty. And Christmas is coming, okay? You never thought you would want to get somebody a wallet, but if you get in this wallet, I'm telling you, they're going to love it. And there's enough time right now. You can still get one by Christmas to give to a loved one. Use this code right here, FLASH. You get 10% off of your purchase. going to save you a little bit of money. Listen, these are great products, and honestly, I would not recommend them if I didn't think the company was worth it, and they totally are. And listen, as a benefit, they stand with creators. They've stood with creators after people have come after them. That's that's a big plus to me. I think a company like that is really worth supporting, so check them out. Give them a look. Link in the description, and then use the code FLASH, save 10%. So make sure you check out that link in the description. But anyway, like I said, Neil Druckmann is under a little bit of heat. And why is that? It's because of the crunch that Naughty Dog did to get The Last of Us Part 2 out. Neil, Duck, Neil Druckmann is the director. Technically, this was all under his watch. So game journalists have a big problem with crunch. Personally, I don't care because... Hey, you're just working hard. A lot of people work hard. It's just life. Sometimes you got to work a little bit harder. They weren't under crunch the entire time. They were under crunch to get the game done. Uh, it's a little bit different. So, yeah, it sucks. You're working hard, but it kind of comes with the job. I've never, you know, I, I don't understand complaining about work. I mean, you, you're, you're in the culture. You know what it is. It's a business. And... Just about every job has some time where you have to work a little bit harder than you normally did. But they don't like it. So anytime this happens, they go crazy and turn into a big thing. But because of that crunch, Neil Druckmann should not have won Best Direction. Now, I'm really shocked that I even see this article because I got to tell you, it seems like if Neil were to stick his boot out, Every games journalist would get on their knees and lick the boots of Neil Druckmann because they literally have went out of their way to praise this game. Uh, the Game Awards made up of a bunch of journalists. They went out of their way to make sure that that thing won just about every award possible. So I'm a little shocked that one of them stands up and says, whoa, hey, listen, uh, maybe, uh, maybe he's not the best director. I, I didn't see this coming. I really didn't. So we'll just go down here where it starts. Uh, let's be clear. The existence of crunch indicates a failure in leadership. It's up to game directors and producers to ensure workloads are being managed properly and goals are being met. If workers are being forced to crunch explicitly or otherwise, it means the managers themselves have fallen short somewhere, either in straining the limits of their existing staff fostering an environment where overtime is an implied, if unspoken, requirement, or both. And as ambitious as The Last of Us Part Two director Neil Druckmann and his projects may be, questionable experiments in the realm of pushing human limits are not required to make a great game. Now, here's the hypocrisy of this, too. Cyberpunk 2077. One of the reasons that all the games media put that game down is because of crunch. Okay, they had to crunch to get that game out the door by December 9th. They had to really work. Okay, and they gave that game 
all kinds of shit. But it isn't until right now that <laughs> I've seen them really... Just Kotaku. Imagine that. Out of all the gaming outlets, they're the ones that stand up and say something about this. But everybody else is talking about Crunch and Cyberpunk. But they not dare. They might... They not dare mention a little bit more crunch on the last of that game needs all of the positive push possible. They have a quote right here. This can't be something that's continuing over and over for each game because it is unsustainable. One last of us part two developer told Kotaku earlier this year. At a certain point you realize I can't keep doing this. I'm getting older and I can't stay in work all night. Yeah, but you don't, you don't say anything about, about this till now. You wait till it wins all these awards. You talk about cyberpunk left and right. Huh? So here's this Hades and tacitly those directing its development at Supergiant was up for the best direction award last night too. It is a great game, just as good as the last of part two and arguably better in some ways. Why it didn't win games of the year is a subjective discussion. I'm not interested in right now, but Hades deserved to win for best direction at least more so than The Last of Us Part Two, thanks to the studio's meaningful avoidance of crunch culture across its various projects. Well, they're a little upset, huh? That you didn't, your game didn't win, huh? That's a little funny. So let's skip down. Basically, they praise Hades for not having any crunch. Not having any crunch. That's the big thing here. So. It's kind of a valid point. They make a big deal about crunch. All of them make a big deal. The entire games media makes a huge deal about this. Like they're the watchers of the industry. <laughs> as long as you pay them enough money, they'll turn the blind eye though. But they let this fold. They were okay with it. And now, you know, after the fact, we'll say something. I'm surprised that they're even criticizing Neil at all because this guy is a god to the industry. So I'll just read this last paragraph right here. I don't hate The Last of Us Part Two. I don't hate Naughty Dog, nor Neil Druckmann, nor anyone else involved in its development. Who has the time? But I will say that I am disappointed by the Game Awards show creator Jeff Cayley, the show's advisory board, and the unnamed journalists and developers whose opinions are heavily weighed in deciding the winners and losers. I feel like the industry now more than ever is willing to discuss the dangers of crunch, crunch culture and solutions to eradicate it, but lavishing praise on the way the last of us part two was dire as directed feels like a tacit endorsement of crunch and only serves to push that conversation to the back burner again. Oh, what? You're saying that you work in an, in an industry of hypocrites? No shit. It's a fair point, though. They make such a big deal about it, but they they pretty much set it all aside so they can own some gamers and uh, push their push their champion above. But hey, Cyberpunk, they can uh, go after that game left and right. So I gotta say, interesting, interesting. This came from Kotaku. Uh, they were just as quick to praise Naughty Dog 2, but they're the only ones that are uh, saying, hey, maybe uh, maybe Last of Us, maybe Last of Us shouldn't have won all those awards. Maybe Neil Druckmann is uh, not the nice guy he says he is. Maybe he's fake. I guess, uh, you know, we'll give him one. I guess I, I'll, decent job, Kotaku, on this one. It's interesting that Kotaku steps up to do this. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. Don't forget to check out the description. Check out Ridge Wallet. Also, make sure you are still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Like, share the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.